Good morning everyone. It is Monday morning, the 15th of March, and this morning for our Lent readings we're going to read from John chapter 8, verse 31 to the end of the chapter. So let's hear God's word. Jesus said to the people who believed in him, You are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. For we are descendants of Abraham, they said. We have never been slaves to anyone. What do you mean that you will be set free? Jesus replied, I tell you the truth. Everyone who sins is a slave to sin. A slave is not a permanent member of the family, but a son is part of the family forever. So if the son sets you free, you are truly free. Yes, I realise that you are descendants of Abraham, and yet some of you are trying to kill me because there's no room in your hearts for my message. I am telling you what I saw when I was with my father, but you're following the advice of your father. Our father is Abraham, they declared. No, Jesus replied, for if you were really the children of Abraham, you would follow his example. Instead, you're trying to kill me because I told you the truth, which I heard from God. Abraham never did such a thing. No, you're imitating your real father. They replied, we aren't illegitimate children. God himself is our true father. Jesus told him, if God, excuse me, if God were your father, you would love me because I have come from God. I am not here on my own, but he sent me. Why can't you understand what I'm saying? It's because you can't ever hear me. For you are the children of your father, the devil, and you love to do the evil things he does. He was a murderer from the beginning. He always hated the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, it is consistent with his character. For he is a liar for he is a liar and the father of lies. So when I tell the truth, you just naturally don't believe me. Which of you can tr- truthfully accuse me of sin? And since I am telling you the truth, why don't you believe me? Anyone who belongs to God listens gladly to the words of God. But you don't listen because you don't belong to God. The people retorted, You Samaritan devil, didn't we say all along that you're possessed by a demon? No, Jesus said, I have no demon in me. For I honour my father and you dishonour me. And though I have no wish to glorify myself, God is going to glorify me. He is the true judge. I tell you the truth. Anyone who obeys my teaching will never die. The people said, now we know you are possessed by a demon. Even Abraham and the prophets died. But you say, anyone who believes my teaching will never die. Are you greater than our father Abraham? He died and so did the prophets. Who do you think you are? Jesus answered, if I want glory for myself, it doesn't count. But But it is my father who will glorify me. You say, he is our God. But you don't even know him. I know him. If I had said otherwise, I would be as great a liar as you. But I don't know him. But I do know him and obey him. Your father Abraham rejoiced when he looked forward to my coming. He saw it and was glad. The people said, you aren't even 50 years old. How can you say you have seen Abraham? Jesus answered, I tell you the truth. Before Abraham was even born, I am. At that point, they picked up stones to throw him. But Jesus was hidden from them and left the temple. Amen. It's one of the passages in the Bible, one of the few passages with Jesus where you see that really face-to-face confrontation um, in this part of John's Gospel. As he tells the people and declares to the people who he is and what's going to happen and as, as they argue or debate with him about it. But it's very interesting how he confronts him with the truth that you are the children of Satan. But that how they are slaves to sin and how they can come back to the Father. This is the thing. We are all born in sin because of what happened with Adam and Eve because of Satan. We're all, we're, we're all sinners. But yet God 
wants us back into his family. A bit like the, the, the story of the, the two sons, or the, the parable we say of the prodigal son, where one son leaves and then he thinks he can come back as a, a, a servant to his father, but the father welcomes him with open arms. That's what God wants to do with us. He wants to welcome us back into our true family. And that's what Jesus is trying to say here. You know, a slave isn't a permanent member of the family. You're a slave to sin. You don't have to be tied to sin forever, but you can be forever with your heavenly family. You can be forever with God if you simply accept who he is and what he's done for you. And that's the struggle that's going on here. The people can't see that Jesus is the Messiah. They can't see that Jesus is the promised one. And even right at the very end when he declares, I am, and that's in bold print in your Bible, because it relates directly back into the Old Testament whenever God said, I am who I am. Um, you know, And even other passages like Exodus 3, 14, where it says there, before Abraham was born, I have always been living. Uh, and where the Greek says, before Abraham was, I am. You know, Jesus was declaring very much that he is God, that he is God's son, he is Messiah, that he has come from the Father um, to be with the people. Amazing that as Jesus journeys towards his own death, the boldness that he has to speak out for God, the boldness that he has to declare to the people, I am the Messiah. I am the one you've been waiting for. Just trust me. And yet how sad that people don't trust. You know, we have that choice of following God or not following God. And the, it, we, it is, it's a choice. We can, we can choose to accept God or we can choose to deny him. Jesus, right at the very end, they were going to stone him, only he gets away. And that just shows that whenever we do stand up for God, that we do face struggles. And we will, we will find it hard, but he is with us. And he can give us the strength that we need day by day, until that day, whenever we see our Heavenly Father. What's your week going to be like this week? What struggles are you going to face this week? What ups and downs are you going to have? What opposition will there be? What support will there be? What encouragement will there be? God is always with us. God is the one who puts the focus onto him. And yes, he uses us, just like Jesus says, he doesn't want glory, but the God, Father's going to glorify him for the Father's sake. You know, if God wants to glorify us or use us in some way, then let, let him use us. Let's be part of his plan. Let's be part of what he's doing so that we can grow closer to him each day. Let's come and let's pray now. Father, thank you again for another glorious day, another, another glorious day because you've given it to us, another week that you have given to us. It's a Monday morning again, Lord. We've, we've had a day yesterday when we have focused upon you, when we have um, praised and worshiped you, and whenever we have talked to you, um, whenever we've looked at your word, and we thank you for that. Now, Lord, the week begins, a week whenever, We'll be doing different things. We'll be working, we'll be studying, we'll be maybe staying at home again. Um, Lord, but whatever we do, help us to glorify you. Lord, please use us to glorify you. Use us not that people would see us and would think highly of us, but use us, Father, so that people would see you, see your love for them, see what you have done through your son, Jesus. Lord, that you would challenge them about whether they are a slave to sin or whether they're a son and daughter in your family. Lord, please, we pray for your word to, to move around this world, to change this world, that uh, you, this world would just turn from its blindness to you and see you, Father, and trust you. So, Lord, thank you, and just help us this week, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. Great to have you online watching. Uh, trust that you do stay safe today and this week, that you do know God's peace and God's blessing. Uh, and that as we continue to meet together in the mornings this week to read his word, that we would really have a sense of him with us, uh, a sense of his glory and his presence. So take care. God bless. See you again tomorrow morning. Bye for now.